the story I'm about to share with you is something that happened to me that I feel is worthy of sharing. My purpose for sharing this story with you is to give you evidence that the life that we live today is temporary and we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Right at 37 years ago, I got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and as I was standing there, I passed out. I felt my head getting foggy and darkness came and I was out. And in the midst of that, I had fallen and hit my head and chipped my tooth. And I fell down into a fetal position around the toilet bowl. And as I found myself ascending from my body, I looked down and I saw myself laying there in a fetal position. And I looked at my hands and I said, well, if this is me, then that, wow, that's me. I'm dead. My soul and my spirit literally ascended out of my body and my body's laying there literally dead. I had no heartbeat. I had no pulse. I looked in the other room and my wife got up in the middle of the night. She gets down on her hands and knees and she's shaking me and she's saying, Don, wake up, wake up. And then my son gets up out of bed and he's now standing over me as well. And I'm looking down and I'm saying, they don't know that I've died. And I continue to rise up and I, again, I looked at my hands and I had physical hands. I had a, a mind I could think. I had an awareness. And, but I felt this euphoric feeling that was beyond any explanation. And I felt so good. I had no pain. I had no misery, no troubles, no thoughts of anything other than pure bliss and euphoric state of mind. Then I felt this presence and I turned around and I saw this group of people. There are 30, 40 or so of people that knew me. They were welcoming me. And I couldn't make out their faces, but I, I knew that I knew them. They knew me and they were comforting me and welcoming me. And then behind them, there was a light, a very, very bright light, a light that was so intense, but it, it was not blinding. It was just this, this heavenly light. And it continued to come closer and closer. And as it came behind the people that were looking at me, I could see the silhouette of Christ. And I was like in total awe because now I knew that I was in heaven. And these people then parted. And when they did, the silhouette of Christ became more real to me because then I could see the true face of God through Christ. I, I literally saw his beard, I saw his hair, I saw his white tunic, his robe. He glowed with this translucent glow and, and strength and I was in awe and he spoke to me. It wasn't a, a verbal, outward, audible, it was an internal voice. And he said to me, do you want to go back? He spoke it just like that, do you want to go back? And I said, do I have a choice? And he said, yes. I then turned around and I saw my wife on her knees shaking me. And I just, I'm like, I'm dead. But she doesn't know I'm dead. I didn't have any closure. I felt the need to come back to her. And I was thinking about what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to go back. I was very comfortable. I was just, again, just euphoric state. And then this this voice again, Christ said to me, well, do you want to go back? And at that moment, I knew that I, I had to go back. I had a choice. That was interesting, but I knew I had to go back. And when I said yes, I left that place quickly. Vroom, literally, I, I felt my body shift and I was going through this tunnel back and it just took seconds. And when I woke, my wife was over me and she's still shaking me. She says, oh, thank God you're alive. 
I checked your pulse. You didn't have a pulse. I'm so glad you're alive. And I said, oh, I had a most amazing experience. She says, I thought you were dead. I said, oh, I was. I said, but let me share with you this experience. So this is the experience that I'm sharing with you. If you have any questions about life after death, death is just a rebirth of life as you know it today. And imagine a child in a womb that's in the comfort of his mother. And you told that child, you're going to come out into the world and you're going to be born. And, and all the things that a newborn child experiences, imagine how heaven is. That's what I experienced. It. And I am glad I wanted to share it with you. All right. Take care. God bless. We've got a series of stories like this that we're sharing. My wife and I, uh, Debbie, are writing a book called The Face of God. This is one of those stories that's going to be in there. And I hope that you will uh, enjoy this story and share it on with many who have concerns about heaven. Heaven is real, folks. It really is. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.